Welcome to Hivers. I'm John O. Stewart. And I'm Eddie Stanton. Today... I'm sorry, John, but I'm going to have to cut you off there. I've got a much more important and urgent story to tell right now. What? What are you... There was an insidious presence spreading throughout Christchurch. An invasion that, up until now, only some of us have noticed. But I'm here to tell you now, I have uncovered a looming threat to this very city. The Road Conspiracy. Hi Viz, episode four, The Road Conspiracy. Roll the tape. An exclusive piece of hard-hitting journalism I believe I have finally cracked the code and I can tell you exactly what those orange road cone things are doing here. Actually, there's a perfectly reasonable explanation for all of these road cones. They're part of Christchurch's infrastructure repair. Infrastructure sounds like a made up word. Infrastructure is all of the water, sewage and roads that make a city work. Hattie met with Angus Barr from Skirt to talk about their job. Hard talk with Hattie and her purple hat. Hi and welcome to Hard Talk with Hattie. I'm here with Angus Bard from Skirt to talk about the infrastructure of the city. Thank you for your time, Angus. Thanks, Hattie. It's good to be here. So, first question, what is Skirt? So, Skirt stands for the Stronger Christchurch Infrastructure Rebuild Team and it's basically a big group of organisations who were tasked with rebuilding the, the city's infrastructure. That's interesting. So what does Skirt do? Uh, probably the best way to explain what Skirt actually does is if I can show you a picture here. Um, so Skirt is basically rebuilding the infrastructure after the earthquakes, after the damage of the 2011 earthquakes. It's basically the pipes that run underneath the ground and there's three types of pipes. Stormwater pipes that take all the rain away, there's water supply pipes that brings all the water to people's houses and there's also the wastewater. So anything you flush down the toilet or whatever, they end up in the wastewater pipes underneath the road. We're also repairing the roads themselves and we're repairing bridges and other things like returning walls. So those walls you see at the side of the road that keep the, the road from falling over. So that's what we do. That's cool. So how long do you think it's going to take? Well, the government's told us that we have to have it all finished in five years, and that started back in 2011. So we've got until the end of 2016 to finish all our work. It's a short time. It's, uh, it certainly is. That's why there's so much work going on in Christchurch, and we're just trying to do as much as we can. On my way here, we counted 421 road cones. Well, there, there are a lot of road cones, and I can tell you there's a lot more than 420 in the city. <laughs> we think we have somewhere between 60 and 80,000 road cones in Christchurch at the moment. Mm. So just to put that in perspective, if you went to AMI Stadium and put a road cone in every seat, you'd probably fill it twice over. So there's lots of road cones is a good thing because it tells people where to drive on the road, uh, but also it's a good thing for our work crews it keeps them safe and protected so no one's going to drive where they're not meant to be. So, how many people work for Skirt? So, Skirt um, has a, a design office and there's about 250 people working in the design office. And then, out in the field, actually, people working on the infrastructure, we have about 1,200 people. So, at Skirt in total, about 1,500 people at any one point in time. Whoa, it's a lot of people. Thank you, Angus, for all your time. It's been really great having you in to talk about the infrastructure and the rebuild. Thank you, it's been great being here, thank you. Back to you in the studio. Thanks, Angus. Always good to know what Skirt is working on. Sorry, I'm going to have to interrupt you again. I have managed to arrange an exclusive interview with the road cone. Hello, I'm Evie Stanton from Hivers. Now, here we have Miss Roadcone. Now, Miss Roadcone, what are you doing here? I'm sorry? I didn't get that. Oh, never mind, let's go on to the next question. Now, Miss Roadcone, what do you want? Do you have a plan? What are your orange and white family doing here? Answer me! 
Oh, Aunt May! Our field reporter Jackson went out and about to find out how much people know about skirt. This way it's so much better than the rehearsal. Let's see how people did. Out and about with Jackson. Hi, Jackson here. I'm here at Restart to find out how much people really know about the Christchurch rebuild. What do you do around road cones? Slow down. You just avoid them. <laughs> it's not easy one. You move them to the side and you park your car. That's what I've done this <laughs> When you see road cones, there's a hazard nearby. To keep safe, you should stay alert and follow any signs or instructions. What does skirt mean? <laughs> a thing that a girl will wear around here. <laughs> <sighs> Don't know. Did we get options? Multi choice. Multi choice. It's stronger Christchurch infrastructure rebuild. Something. <laughs> oh, you're so close! Dude, it's team! Skirt stands for Stronger Christchurch Infrastructure Rebuild Team. How much money is being spent on the infrastructure repair? Oh, how much do you reckon? No idea. 15 billion. 3.2 billion. 2 billion? That's right, approximately $2 billion are being spent on the infrastructure rebuild. That was very interesting to find out how little people knew about the Christchurch rebuild. So I'm going to take it back to you guys in the studio. Thanks, Jackson. It's a dirty job, but someone's got to do it. I've made a realisation that road cones are not our enemies. And I think road cones serve a great purpose. I agree. Road cones mean that things are getting better around the city. Which is why I've decided to join them. Right. <laughs> so if you see a road cone, don't get grumpy and give the people fixing our city a friendly wave. We'll see you next time. Detour, slow down and watch your step. <laughs> Detour, stop and close the road. Slow down. Yeah, yeah. Stop. Come right and listen. Ice is back with a brand new invention. Something grabs a hold of you tightly. I was going to finish that road path. I'm Eddie Stanton. And I'm John o. Stewart. We'll see you next time on High Viz. Really? Is this, is this a joke? Thanks for watching High Viz. Coming up next episode, the future is now.